Okay, hello my friends. Today we won't talk about modular. <laughs> Stop that simple. I just want to introduce you a little marvelous thing uh, made by Basel Instruments. This is the Micro Granny 2.5 and this is a sampler. This is a granular sampler and this is very awesome because you can put a lot a lot of samples inside thanks to the micro SD card here you can record directly your sample your voice whatever you want by the mic here or by the line in okay I, I won't do a, a tuto because uh, Basel Instruments uh, did very good tutors about um, that powerful thing. Um, there is only one problem with that sampler. It's a 8-bit sampler. So when you record directly on the mic or on the line in, the sound is not very awesome. It's uh, dirty sounds. but. Uh, Oh, you, you can do a lot of things with that sound, but uh, I don't like it. So, you must take the micro SD card here and put it directly on your computer. And to transfer samples, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, I won't save. Um, micro Granny only accepts 12 or 16 bit samples at rate of 22 Hertz. Um, so you must convert your sample with an excellent freeware called Audacity. Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom a little bit here. With Audacity, you just have to open the samples you want to put inside your SD card. For example, I'm gonna use that sample. Okay. Sorry. That sample is stereo and it's a project at 48 uh, thousand bits. I need 22. Okay. And I need to convert by clicking on track stereo to mono. Okay, here I have a sample in mono and project at 22 thousands. So I just need to export the audio and the format is wave sign 16 bit PCM. Okay, record. Yep. Yep. Nope, and I got the project here on my desktop. I didn't put the micro SD, but if I uh, did, I would have the icon of the micro SD and I just have to put it in the micro SD. Okay, this is uh, the samples I have in my micro SD, and you can notice that it's classified with two letters. First one is A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and then AA, AB, AC, AD. Well, this is not very practical because uh, you don't see uh, what exactly is your sample um, because the lead here of the micro granny has only two letters. Maybe it's going to be corrected in uh, another firmware. So, you need to take your micro SD and put it inside the micro granny. And you have all your samples. It's very easy and you will have a very, very good sound. I can do a little workflow of the micro granny. For example, I will take this sample. Oh, I need to use live. And I have a project 
with uh, the analog for the analog rhythm in live. I'm gonna open it. Okay, and the micro granny is connected to the in right of the analog four. So I have the sound through the analog four and I have a spatial track here. It's the external right input. of the analog wave the analog four, sorry so I have uh, that sample here I can loop the sample this is the volume button I can tune the sample I can have bit crush of the sound. Yep, very very dirty. And then I have the granular here with the grand size. I can modify the grand size and the speed of the grains. It's if you're used to modular, it looks like the mutable instruments module I can take another sample this is the A6 I can use the A7 A8 can loop the sample here I can choose different points of looping These are all my samples. Okay, this is pretty awesome and can be very useful to make ambient sounds. Uh, for example, when you play something that kind of stuff then you can create very cool Oops, sorry 
then you can create very cool ambient. dark ones Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop the loop. Hope, I hope that video will be very helpful for the one who wants to buy the micro granny or um, wants to use it in production. I never used that kind of beast in live uh, representations for the moment. Uh, maybe I will try. This is quite awesome sampler, believe me. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.